If you want to learn the use of machine learning and computer vision in Android, then join the complete 2021 Android machine learning course. The course is available both on Udemy and Skillshare. Links are given in the description. So now we have tested our application and the application is working correctly. So congratulations, you have built your own live feed application. And now the next step is getting the frames of that live camera footage as bitmap so that we can pass those bitmaps to our machine learning model later. And in order to do it, we have the code inside our story. So here when you scroll down, there you will find a section converting frames into bitmaps. So just copy all of the code present inside this section and move back to your Android Studio project. And here at the bottom, just remove this own image available method because the code we copied contains that method. So just paste the code here and add the import. So firstly, we will add the import for bitmap. Then for this image, after that, for this byte buffer, and that's it. So now we added the import. So there you can see that we pasted this code here. And inside this code, the first method is this own image available method. And you know that for each frame of live camera footage, this method will be called. And we can get the frame with the help of this image reader. And now we want to convert that frame into bitmap. And we cannot directly do it. So in order to convert that frame into bitmap, we firstly need to get the bytes from that particular frame. And after that, we will create a bitmap object and we will store those bytes inside the pixels of that bitmap. Or in other words, in order to convert this frame into bitmap, we need to firstly get the bytes of that particular frame and then create a bitmap. So here inside this method, we will firstly get the bytes of particular frame and after that we will create a bitmap here inside this process image method. So for each frame of live camera footage, this method will be called and inside this method, we are calling this process image method. And inside this method, we are finally converting this frame into bitmap format. And that bitmap is this RGB frame bitmap. So you can pass this bitmap to your machine learning model and do the processing. And now let's look at the code that how we are getting this bitmap. So firstly, inside this method, we are checking if this preview width and the preview height are equal to zero or not. And that is because we are ensuring that the live camera footage is being displayed. So if both of these variables are equal to zero, it means that the live camera footage is not being displayed. Because once the live camera footage will be displayed, this callback will be executed and we are assigning the values to these variables and if they are still zero, it means that the live camera footage is not being displayed. After that, we are checking if this RGB bytes array is equal to null or not. So if that is equal to null, then we are initializing it. And it is an integer array in which we will store the bytes of particular frame. So the size of this array is equal to the size of image. And inside this array, we will store the frame bytes. After that, we are getting that particular frame with the help of reader object. And we are checking if this frame is not equal to null. After that, we have this is processing frame variable. And there we are using this is processing boolean variable that we declared above so that only one frame will be processed at a time. So we created this variable here and we set it to false. And here we will check if this variable is equal to true. It means that there is already a frame in processing. So we will return from here. And if that variable is false, which is the case for the first frame, then we will pass this check and we will set it to true. And now until we will set it to false, no frame will gonna pass that check or we will return from here. So we can process that particular frame with ease here until we will set it to false. Or in other words, this variable is ensuring that only one frame will be processed at a time. 
So after setting it to true, we are getting the planes for that particular frame because in order to get the bytes from that particular frame, we need to get the planes and then we are going to use this image util class to get the bytes from that particular frame. So here we created this runnable callback and inside this run method, we are using this image util dot convert method. And this method will gonna take the planes of our frame and this RGB bytes array along with the other parameters. And this method will gonna get the bytes from that particular planes and store them inside this RGB integer array that we created above. So once this method will be executed, we will get our frame into bytes format and then we can create a bitmap. But we wrote this method inside this runnable block so this code will not be executed yet. And it will be executed once we will call this image converter dot run method. And after that we have another callback and once this callback will be executed we will close that particular frame and we will set this is processing to false. And it means that now the next frame can be passed for processing. So here after declaring both of these callbacks, we are calling this process image method. As you know that we wrote this code inside this runnable block, so this code will not be executed, all this run method will not be called yet. And once we will call this image converter dot run method, this code will be executed and we will get the bytes for that particular frame. And we are doing it here inside this process image method. So once we will call this method, here the first step is we are calling this image converter dot run method. So we will get the bytes for that particular frame here. After that we initialized a bitmap variable. So we created a bitmap equal to the size of the frame. And then with the help of this RGB frame bitmap dot set pixels method, we are populating the pixels of that particular bitmap with the bytes of frame. And once this method will be executed, we will get the frame in a bitmap format here. And now we can pass this bitmap to our machine learning model and get the prediction from the model. So that is the process of converting those frames into bitmaps. So we are simply getting the frame of live camera footage and then we are getting its byte with the help of this image util class. And after that we are creating a new bitmap and storing the bytes inside this bitmap. And we are doing this process in such a manner that only one frame will be processed at a time and we are achieving that with the help of this is processing frame variable. So hopefully you get the idea that how we can get the frames as bitmap format. If you want to learn the use of machine learning and computer vision in Android, then join the complete 2021 Android machine learning course. The course is available both on Udemy and Skillshare. Links are given in the description.